WEMF. Presented by the Sound Museum. All the money in the world can't buy your way into heaven. It can't buy your way out of hell. It was made to be spent right here. And I, uh, I'm going to have the best clothes, best boots, best diamonds, best cars, trucks, motorcycles, booze, and women on the face of this earth. Just as long as I can keep going. The official title Ripple Music presents the Sleaze Grinder <laughs> Super Rock Power Hour. It's amazing. Uh, We've already sold out. And what I and what I realized is uh, that a guy with a Boston accent should really not name anything the Power Hour because it hurts my mouth to say it. <laughs> Good, give it a, give it a go. Power Hour. Power Hour. See? <laughs> I will not be a victim of ridicule. That's, that's what it really is, is the Power Hour. Yeah. Well, it is. It's more powerful when I say it. Yes. Think yeah. about it. We are Boston's number one all-rock radio show. Yes. I figure that's the, right the way we start out is at the top, and then hopefully by the end we can end at the, at the bottom, at the very bottom. Like a rocket ride to the gutter. But yes. doing wheelies all the way. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, <laughs> then we end up on porn radio, <laughs> but that's, the, that's how it goes. But, right? at, but at the moment, top of the charts, Boston, Providence, Hartford. Oh yeah. Probably, Hartford. Worcester, <laughs> probably Worcester too. I don't know. I'm never going there again. Woonsocket. <laughs> what an amazing feeling though. Yeah. My yeah. name is Ken, everybody. You may know me as Sleaze Grinder. The greatest rock writer this town has ever had. I don't think anybody would argue that, would they? No oh, yeah. I think no. possibly. Give me a break. Perhaps you've seen my, my work in Classic Rock Magazine or Metal Hammer Magazine, uh, Decibel, Revolver. I, I, don't, I can't remember which one of those I wrote for, but it was one of them. <laughs> uh, here in Boston, Boston Phoenix, uh, rest in peace. Uh, Boston's Weekly Dig, maybe rest in peace. I don't know. I haven't seen it in a while. No, they still, oh. they still put it out, but nothing good's in it. And, uh, and uh, The Noise. And, uh, and that's, that's what, I'm, what I'm up to. Uh, and if, you know, if not, you know, catch up, because uh, you know, I've been around. But listen, with me this evening, what I like to call my jive cotillion, on my right, the, the decadent empress of Boston Rock. Thank you very much. <laughs> the Robbie to my evil Knievel. It's, uh, my, very sweet. My girl, uh, Stacy. My girl, Friday, Stacy. How's it going? It's, it's great. My girl Friday, it's a reference to a Cary Grant movie. You know I wouldn't get that. And on, the, anyway. and on the other end of the table, what I like to refer to as the Magnificent Brotherhood. Yes. The Humanoids. Indeed. Hey. Johnny Woo! Machine. hey -o. Joey Sin. And of course, Mike Demonic. All day. Humanoids. All of the, the night. The greatest opening band this town has ever had. <laughs> That's right. Nobody, That's right. <laughs> nobody can rock an 8 p.m. Yeah. time slot. <laughs> If it's one thing we try do, it's, it. it's ease them in. <laughs> well, yep. it's, it's the humanoids. That's right. You need an empty room to be really loud. We're hey. right there for you. <laughs> Hike up your knickers. <laughs> mm. and, uh, me, and the, me and the humanoids, we go way back. That's right. Indeed. Back to what? Um, the 1920s. Yeah. Yes. When we were all messed up on opium cough syrup. What? <laughs> Those are the days. <laughs> Once uh, I was supposed to interview them for Boston's Weekly Dig, and we reviewed spanking videos instead. God, Correct. that was disturbing. Oh, that was in, uh, I don't even want to say, it was in my bedroom, too. We watched those videos. <laughs> yeah. I don't think all, we should have said together. that. I still yeah. think about those videos sometimes, Joey. Yeah. Did you make videos thinking about those videos, though? <laughs> <laughs> they were like double videos. And what happens yeah. when you think about those videos? Also, uh, behind the board is uh, Nash, short for National Hero. That's right. Yes. I don't know. I think <laughs> maybe he saved a baby at some point. I'm sure more than one. Yeah. I, I'm thinking. I've never yeah. saved a baby, but I have saved rock and roll. Many I times. hear he saved the baby of the Grand Canyon, which is even better. Whoa. Yeah. yeah that's we, we have assembled here to solve the rock and roll crisis in this town. Yeah. That's, that's what we're here for. Right. 
And that's what we're going to do. By the way, also uh, with us in the studio is uh, DJ Paul Foley behind the phone. He's operating the phone tonight. Yeah. No camera. You can't, you can't call him on it, but he's, he's operating it. Yes. So uh, thank you, Paul. He's our videographer. Mm. Ooh, that's a nice title. You might ask why a DJ is videographing, but uh, he wears a lot of hats. Yeah. The more you know about Paul, the less you know. For sure. So that's what we're going to do. Either we're going to save rock and roll in this town, or we're going to dismantle it piece by piece over the next eight weeks, Mike. That's the plan. I'm into it. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, and thank you for being here, Stacy. If you think about it, Stacy, two months ago, you were in a five-star hotel. <laughs> Remember that? Are we going to go there? <laughs> I was. I was waiting out the storm. She was waiting out the storm in a five-star hotel, uh, eating sushi in a bubble bath. And now? Now I'm eating beef jerky for dinner. And slumming it with the riffraff <laughs> of the right. rock scene. I don't Amazing. know what happened. Sorry about right, that, though. buddy. Okay. Uh, lest we forget, we are proudly sponsored by Ripple Music, your one-stop shop for everything heavy. Uh, uh, out now, the latest uh, Space Probe Taurus record, everybody. That's right. It's On the, it. It's called the Iguana. It's killer. It's already sold out, so go back in time a couple of months and uh, get it. Ripple-music.com, everybody. That's our sponsor for the evening. Tonight on the show, our old pal Heavy Neggers are dropping in. They're out there having some beers. Those are my beers. Yeah, they are. <laughs> awesome. I was going to ask for one of those, but I guess that's a bad idea. Well, I mean, you know. I was going to share them, but I didn't know there were so many of them. There's only three. I think there's only three. Three yeah. and all of us. Yeah. One each. We were all going to make a TV show together, remember? Yeah, I remember even well. Heavy Necker. But I, I, bro I broke my leg uh, roller skating, and that was the end of that. I bought an outfit for that. I know. Whatever. I know. Now I'm doing TV on the radio. I like I, it. I feel like that's safer. We'll see. Yeah, I like it better because I don't have to wear pants. Yeah, it's clearly less dangerous. Uh, so folks who are listening probably know who we are here in the Boston rock scene. Sleeves grinder and humanoids. Right. Correct. Yeah, you would think that. Yeah. After, well, after, after all this time. Top villain. Yep. 15 years you guys have been. Yeah. Playing the empty rooms. That's right. <laughs> who doesn't know us? Full rooms that empty out as we play. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, hey, there's, there's many reasons, but yes. we won't get into those no. now. For I'm our, to think about that. Though. For our for our final show, do you want to have Clay Inferno in here for a reunion? That's just throwing it out there as a possibility. Totally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. we're doing it. Either that or the topless show. Clay Inferno comes in, or we do the show topless for the for the finale. Why not both? That seems fair. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? You guys, <laughs> let's do it both. Come on. You guys figure out which one you want yeah. to do. Everybody. But anyway, anyway, here's the point. Uh, probably uh, people don't know Stacy. So, yeah. I, what I figured we would do here at this point is have you tell a story that will maybe, a little anecdote, okay. that maybe gives it's us a little... Anecdote. I can do that. That just gives us, you know, a flavor of what the Stacy experience is, is like. Great, let's do it. So... What story are we going to tell? I, I know a lot of your stories, we chum around a lot, so I'm going to give you a, a choice okay. of three. <laughs> well, you you pick one. Okay. You pick one, we'll take a break, and then we come back, you can tell a story. Okay, as long right? as I can pick. Okay. Oh, right, here we go. And you guys, if you if you have an opinion about which one you want to hear, you can chime in as All well, right. of course. Okay. So uh, you can either tell a uh, happy anal New Year. You can tell that one. Okay. Uh, uh, can I vote now? That's a no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can, My mom might be listening, so no. You can tell uh, B girls gone wild pudding wrestling story. That's another <laughs> one. Or C, you, setup. <laughs> you can tell the yes. uh, the Asian sex noises story. So you choose. Who's right now? Yeah. Okay, it's definitely going to be C. <clears throat> uh, okay, well, if you choose C. It's the lesser of three evils, which, for sure. Which you have, and it turns out more racist than I think it will. Yeah, possibly, but. You please know. please be advised, everyone, that I can't be responsible for anything that she says. All right. So, I voted A, hey. I'm just saying. But before we get to that, this is a rock and roll show, after all. So I think we should play some rock and roll. I'm down. All right, Let's very do good. Uh, by the way, Joey, so yeah. while we, when we play this song, if you could get Heavy Necker in here. Sure. And, uh, and then we'll talk to them when we get back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is there any way, that, any way that this could also happen? How's that? Go downstairs and get more beer. Is that what you're suggesting? <laughs> Something. <laughs> there is no more. All right, uh, Johnny, a word from our sponsor, please. By Ripple, save America. Ripple-music.com. Thank you. Uh, Stacy. okay, you ready to tell your story? I'm ready. Here we are, the Asian sex noise story from Stacy. Little, a little of Stacy, so everybody gets to know her a little bit. A little Stacy. Okay, so I grew up doing voices, kind of. 
like one of my voices is my dog, which I've told you about. So I impersonated my, I gave my dog a personality basically growing up. Um, but then in college, um, I, I went to Indiana University and I um, was in a dorm and across the hall um, was this lovely, pretty high fashion Asian girl, very attractive. And I'm coming down the hall one day and I noticed that Eric Gordon, who happens to be like the it basketball player at IU, which is a basketball school. I don't know if anybody knows that. No. No, nobody knows that. I know. I do. I do. Did you know that? You know Eric now. Gordon? Those Two guys people. knew it. Two people in the room. I don't, I don't even That's know what basketball good. is. Yeah, right. I'm, 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 I know. We're I'm, all getting bored, I'm I guess. Very, I'm very disappointed whenever rock and roll guys start talking about sports. I know. So I'll try to move along. <laughs> <laughs> like, it breaks my heart every time uh, Mike starts getting into a basketball thing. But, you know. Okay. Well, we'll move along from the basketball part. Stop hurting us, Stacey. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Eric Gordon is apparently hooking up with the Asian across the hall, and I find that very entertaining um, because I think he's a celebrity. And I learned to do a very good impression of her um, Asian, you know, her sex noises. Yeah, which I will do for you in a second because okay. I know that's where this is going. Right. <laughs> um, but so right after that, I meet a guy that I'm about to date for four years. And I like to fuck her. I like to screw around with people. This just cost me a hundred dollars. I know. I'm sorry. I like to screw around with every, people. Every every F word that happens on this show, it's a hundred dollars it. deducted. Fire truck. Pay. I knew I would be the first one to blow it, but I'll <sighs> try not to. Do it again. Um, Forget about it. So, can we get a dump button? That would be helpful. <laughs> or like, I have to put money in a jar or something. Um, yeah, hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. There's a pizza fund out there. So, um, the first time we hook up, I decide to just incorporate the noise and see if it's a hit. Okay. Because I'm a sucker for awkward situations. I want to know if this guy is going to say anything about it. Right. So, what so, you're saying is you decide you're going to do the Asian sex noises to see if he notices that you're doing or, weird I mean, Asian obviously, sex he's going to know it. No. But is he going to say anything? Yeah, exactly. And he doesn't. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> so... I mean, I don't know what that says about me, but I, I'm a sucker for awkward situations, I guess. Clearly. So, do you, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> do you want to do the noise? Take it away. Here we go. Here we go. All right. You tell me how good it is. All right. You, if you get some applause, then I guess it was pretty good. And you know I want you to tell me it's good regardless. Okay. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. All right. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, that's good. <laughs> good, yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, that's so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't do anything. <laughs> I feel like, Excellent job. I feel like we're going to have to apologize to some organization for that one. I know. Absolutely. We're all through well, about that. Well, that was the lesser of three evils, so. Uh, I felt like I was in Bangkok. Well, while we're, while we're on. <laughs> what were you doing? What? While we're on your, your creepy impressions, as she mentioned, she likes to, sometimes she likes to call up her mother and torment her. <laughs> With the vo the voice, yeah, like the ghost of her dead dog. Yeah. So you might as well do that one, S Sandy the dog. So, so Sandy you might as well, the dog. You might as well Hi, Sandy. It. It's Sandy. I'm here in my grave. It's very cold out. And so my mom. The backstory to that <laughs> oh is God. that my mom What's definitely <laughs> put my dog to bed before she to she killed my dog before she was ready to go. Yeah. She just had like a small tumor on her leg. Yeah. My mom was like, well, that's it. That tumor is going to explode all over my carpet. So I better just strangle so like her right just now. I torment her with <laughs> Can you do a combination of those? <laughs> <laughs> all right, very good. Thank you, Stacey. Some applause for Stacey. Right. For, uh, Give it up. Yes. Good job. We're proud of you. Now, now we know more about her than we yes. we needed to. Uh, 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 Nash, if you could please, if you could play the, the worst gig of the week intro, and then we will talk about the worst uh, gig of the week. Please. Thank you. I like the way you whistle. Yeah. I, I, I have a new impersonation. I can tell you've been practicing. God, you got an impersonation? Yeah. It's, oh, it's the Kool Aid Man. All right, God. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Good, good yeah. job, buddy. Way to go, Jay. All right. We got it. If you can't enjoy the music, at least have fun. You guys, now you guys just have to go home. I knew this band idea was going to suck. So, uh,. There you go. So here's the thing. There's a, there's a new wind blowing in town. I don't know if you guys have noticed this. And I blame it on the collectivism of the millennials, Mike. I agree. That's, that's really the problem yes. here. There's too much coddling. 
It really is. Way too much hugging. Yeah. Because because people in the in the our Boston rock and roll scene these days are really supportive of each other. That is wrong. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard of such a thing. Yeah. We've been a band for almost sixteen years. I know, right? Everybody's very Come on. suddenly everybody is encouraging. I don't think that's good for rock and roll. No. It's not good for anyone. I think rock and roll is good when it's cutthroat and it's competitive and everybody's paranoid. Exactly. Right? right. Correct. That's if, why I do meth. If you know <laughs> <laughs> if you know that the that if you blow the show, your career is over. You don't blow the show, right? Right. Or, or you just blow it and then just keep doing it for sixteen years. Yeah. I mean, it's other bands do. So I don't know. I, I just feel like there's a lot of <laughs> mediocrity happening, and it shouldn't be allowed to flourish in a in a in a rock scene. It's right? absolutely wrong. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of ball disgusting, cupping. and it's happening yes. in every aspect. Right, Stacy? You could tell we've gone yeah, to some comedy shows. Yes. Same thing. Awful. It's like awful comedians, and everybody goes, oh, awesome job. Just clap for them. Make them yeah. feel good yeah. about yeah. themselves. Yeah. Oh, just let, me, just let me cup your member there. Yeah, you. exactly. You know what it is? It's sonic docking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I don't like it. So, uh, you know, once a week, what we're going to do here on the show is uh, we're going to look on the, in our, we're going to check our newspapers for our listings. Right. Yeah. listings. Well, I'm going to check out the Phoenix. <laughs> right. And we're going to find what we think is the worst possible gig of the week. And then we're going to go, Mike. Yes. As, as, a, as a team, as a gang. We're going tonight. Exactly. Right. And then the next week we will come back and we will report on what we saw. Because what could happen, right, Stacey, what could happen is that it could be a, an actually a, a great show. Or some woman it could won't be, be selling plants. or yeah, It, it, won't, it won't be a great like show, that. but it could be. You, right. you got to you got to leave the you got to leave the, your, yourself open to new experiences certainly, but anyways here's the point. This is why I needed uh, Heavy Necker in here. <clears throat> Heavy Necker are directly, accidentally but directly responsible for this for this segment. <laughs> yes, it's true. Uh, they don't know it yet, but no, but uh, they're gonna find out. Okay, so uh, that's why I wanted him here for it. Uh, first of all, uh, Nash, if you would play play a little Heavy Necker for us, just to taste. While I, while I introduce them. Thank you. Oh, yeah. This is your uh, jam. Which jam is this? Oh, you guys can't hear it. <laughs> it's one of their jams. Crocodile Tears. Thank you. It's Crocodile Tears, everybody. It's one of their, one of their major hits. So here's what I have to say to you guys, Heavy Necker. I don't believe in many things. I don't believe in Jesus, but I believe in Heavy Necker. By the way, you guys can use that. Put that on your, your posters. <laughs> Right? That's good. Isn't yeah, it? I'm into okay. it. Uh, Heavy Necker are a power trio. That means there's three of them. And they're powerful together, basically, from Peabody, Mass. When together. It's a beautiful place. <laughs> Peabody, yeah. Mass, the Peabody strong Mass. city, town, state of Peabody. Right. They are, they're like Cream, if Cream recorded their first demo in their mom's living room. By the way, if you, if you listen hard, right, uh, you can hear... If, on that demo, you can hear Chris's mom doing the dishes in the background. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Yeah. By the way, uh, fun fact, uh, Joey Sin <laughs> yeah. lives in Peabody. I'm also from Peabody. Wow. Peabody yeah. is a strong city. Yeah. <laughs> right? I'm shaking his hand. Yeah, in case you can't see that, I'm also going to shake his hand. We like to call it Peabody power. Yeah. Hands are being shook. This is the real power trio right here. <laughs> Visualize. <laughs> so you got, you got Chris on guitar and vocals. You've got uh, Mike on the drums. You've got Keith on the whoa, bass. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ken, Ken, hold on. What? That's, that's Mike D. Mike D. See, well, then he's Mike D, D too. Oh, yeah, okay. But, all right, Mike D. By the way, we've got two Mike Ds in the room. Sadly, for this Mike D, he's way older. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's like 70. So we're going to find out uh, all about Heavy Necker in a few minutes. They have a lot going on. Uh, but before we get to it, uh, we have to talk about Potsy, right? Yes. We have to. Oh, oh, oh. That's the whole reason we're we doing the show. Sweet. This is the first Jeebus. show you brought me to, Ken. By the way, it's true. By the way, the, the worst gig of the week this week is uh, clearly Jimmy Whispers at the Lily Pad, which is happening tonight right after the show. So if you, if you want to hang out with us uh, and cringe along, you can uh, meet us there. <laughs> Mike, we're going to be too late for the cello recital. <laughs> <laughs> but we are going to make it. We are going to make it for, uh, for Jimmy uh, Whispers making everybody uncomfortable. The odds, it'll be, odds are it'll just be me there, but maybe. <laughs> anyway, here's a taste of uh, Jimmy's, Jimmy Whispers' new single, uh, Summer in Pain. You ever have a Summer in Pain? Uh, you know, maybe due to sunburn. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's possible. N Nash, if you want a little sunburn. Jimmy Whispers. It sucks. 
Summer Show Rock. Tonight, it's Lily Pad. Ooh. Summer in pain. Yeah. What wow. time does we want to go? Oh. Free, right? Are they get, they pay you when they go in? That's pretty is beautiful, it bad right? If I think it's kind of sexy. Yeah, yeah it is kind of sexy. You're right. Now I'm kind of now I'm kind of into it. Maybe yeah. we should second guess the worst game of the week next week. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. I like the I like. You guys ever been to the Lily Pad? You ever played there? Never been to the Lily Pad before. Never. It's the least rock and roll uh, room in town. Ooh, it's just a it's just a, it's like a living room, right, Mike? Yeah, it looks like an abandoned storefront that uh, I don't know some sort of crusty people moved into. It's just sell beer. It's just painful awkwardness, no yeah. matter what's happening in there. I was in there to see uh, Bong Wish the other night. Bong Wish, who were incidentally right? awesome, Bong Wish. Oh, uh, but before weird. they before they played, there was an art exhibit. That's why Bong Wish were playing, and uh, it was just it was a girl's plants on a shelf. That wow. was it. What am I supposed to do with that? What am how am I supposed to react to an art exhibit, which is um, which is some plants on a shelf? Smash them. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember the the 90s. Did any of you guys remember the 90s? A little uh, bit, vaguely. <laughs> there was this guy. His name was Chris Burden. He was a he was a performance artist here in this town. And one thing that he did was he uh, shot himself in in a gallery. Like he, he took a gun and he put a string around the trigger and he put the gun on one side of the gallery. Then he went to the other side of the gallery, sat down in a chair, pulled the trigger and shot himself. Whoa! Then another time, Jesus. then another time, he nailed his hands to the hood of a car. I'm not saying that we have to go back to nailing our hands on the hood of a car for art. I'm just saying there's a big difference between that and plants on a shelf. Right. Right? I agree. <laughs> there's got to be some middle ground yeah. that we can get to. How did he nail both hands? I, don't, you can't, I, I, I forget how he did it, but it was... Uh, that was man. That was, He's got a hard yeah. head. <laughs> that was That's part of the is. trick. Anyway. Got bong wish. They by were way, masked oh. genitals, I believe. By the way, I will say this. Bong Wish is playing Sunday at, uh, at TT's. Everybody should go because they uh, they're awesome. And also, this is what I was thinking. Listen to this, guys. I'm with you. Yeah. Uh, thinking about having a bong wish on the show in a few weeks. And you tell me if this is a good idea or not. So my idea was yeah. that everybody on the show except for me right. gets stoned for the show. Uh, uh, bong, uh, great bong idea. Wish, bong great, wish, great idea. <laughs> bong wish gets stoned. The humanoids get stoned. Stacy gets stoned. Well, yeah. Nash, Nash gets stoned. I didn't yeah. wait. I'm... DJ, DJ Paul Fuller gets stoned. <laughs> Everybody except for me. Okay. And then we'll see what happens. Yeah, I mean, I've never tried marijuana, but I'm down to try it. <laughs> I, I, I guess if you guys do it, I'll try I, it. I, I feel like it would be completely terrible for me, but maybe it would make good radio. Yeah, no, let's do it, man. And I would just hate you guys all so much <laughs> through that entire process. Okay, I'm totally down. It would do just it. be the worst. Are they, are they from around here? This, this bomb? Yeah, they're from around the corner. Are you oh, no sure shit. They smoke weed. I'm pretty sure they smoke. They certainly, look, they have a flute player, man. I mean, you know. Oh, okay. What wow. are they, Jethro Tull? Wow. Can we smoke oh, wow. out of her flute? Oh, yeah. I wonder if that's even possible. Is that possible? No. Are you, are you, are you I mean, automatically possible. assuming that the flute player is a girl? <laughs> you can smoke Is weed that right? Really? Yeah, yeah, a flute. Yeah, a flute would, would work. Egg. A flute I mean, would work in the same way that, like, a mama pig's stomach works to, like, provide milk for all of her little baby pigs. Oh no! You know what? what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what It'd that be means. like a smoke, like titties. Kind of, so, so, so like every, bacon? <laughs> so yeah. many people could suckle at the smoke. Yes. Yes. Suckle yes. at the smoke. Yes. Right. Right. <laughs> so smoke uh, suckling. So recently. Exactly. So recently Excellent. at Heavy Necker's invite slash behest, we all went to a podunk town called Beverly, Mass. Right. Yeah, oh. that's right. To see Heavy Necker play. Also, the humanoids played. We did. Uh, Wait, we played? But yeah. first, we were uh, subjected to a band called Potsy, which inspired Mike and I to start the Worst Gig of the Week segment. Because we couldn't yes. get over it. It was. I still can't get over it. It's amazing. I think about it daily. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Potsy are some kind of suburban rock band who are, they sound like Tool, right? Uh, mm -hmm. right? I would say Tool, yeah. I can say that, yeah. Tool, tool. yeah. They have, each song it contains many, many riffs. Let's play a little taste. Let's play a taste of uh, Potsy. If you would, Nash, just so people can know what we're talking about. And and I feel that this will be constructive if you want to be in a band yourself. It's very tool. It is. By the way, this song is... I've never heard them. This song is five minutes long, and you will never get to the actual song. <laughs> <laughs> just lots of shirts falling it's just, off. It's just, yes. five, it's just five minutes that sounds like the, the intro to a song that never happens. Torso <laughs> rock. <laughs> They're all pretty doughy, those guys. Okay, you know how long it, gets, it takes to get to the to the hook on Sugar Sugar by the Archies? No time. No. 
No time at all. Song starts, you get to the hook. I appreciate that because I'm a busy man. Exactly. You know right? what I mean? I don't have five minutes to wait for the, the hook. You know what I'm saying? We get, get in and out in two I minutes. I things to do. Balls need cupping. Right? <laughs> Stat scat and get to the point. So first of all, uh, what is your relationship to, to Potsy, you guys? You guys hang? Um, well, we don't necessarily hang. Yeah. Oh, that's um, good. That's good. But they're this, part of this, this like rock scene. They're part of this like rock scene that happens in Revere. Yeah. They're, like centralized, pretty much at this uh, this place called Sammy's Patio that I, you've been to before. Sure. You saw us play there. Yep. Um, there's a couple of other bands that like they're actually not from there. They're from somewhere in New Hampshire, but they like very much part of that scene. Um, there's a couple of bands in that area that all kind of like. Everybody hugs when you meet up, and it's, it's, and it's awesome. Yeah. Do they? You know? Is it like a handshake hug? No, no, it's like a real hug. hug. It's like it's like uh, there's this one kid, Josh Jackowitz, who like he sees me and he goes, <laughs> "Hey," and he like comes and hugs me immediately. Nothing but love. It's, it's like a love. it's like a straight up love fest. Yeah, it was one of the one of the more alarming things that I <laughs> I witnessed in the Boston rock scene as of late was hugs. was the first time that I saw these guys at Sammy's patio. And like every dude that would come in would hug all the other dudes. So it's like, first there's eight guys, and one guy comes in, hugs eight guys. Then another guy comes in, now there's nine guys. He's got to hug nine guys. This is happening the whole time. I would try to get there first. Yeah, first. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, so you don't have to hug anybody. And I was, Everyone just hugs you. Well, I was thinking, what's wrong with me? I've known the humanoids for 15 years. We've never hugged. No. And we never will. <laughs> No, no. First, I mean, you know, I think about it, but yeah, I, don't. <laughs> I mean, it would be nice. It could be comforting, right? Yeah. At special occasions like holidays or something, we sure. can hug, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. So, or, or, you know, in the open, you know, Ken, if I was there when you broke your uh, leg, uh, roller skating, maybe you know, if you were all bummed right. out about it, I might, you know, right? Instead of calling nine one one, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Nice hug. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> Ooh, hope you feel better, buddy. I gotta go. <laughs> Leather, on, one, one. leather on leather bromance. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, Potsy. <laughs> First of all, the guy's girlfriend, remember this, right? The guy's girlfriend was knitting a scarf while they were playing. Knitting something. Indeed. How could I ever forget this? This whole, this, the whole set is just indelibly burned in my mind. Forever. She, I mean, was, she was one of three people there to see them, and she, she was, was knitting a scarf. She was so tired of yeah. Potsy, she right. was knitting a scarf. The shirts were off, it wasn't even hot. Do you guys play with your shirts off ever? Never. We used to, in fact, I used to pull my ass out at every gig. Yeah. Yeah. I whole have thing? photographic evidence. What? Oh, yeah. Whole thing? Or? Oh, yeah, whole thing. In fact, a lot of the times the pants would come off because it was easier to just pull like an underwear, like comfort soft waistband down than it would be like pants with a belt. We used to have this song called Lick Me where I had like one part of a solo that I had like I had like a hammer on lick on and that could allow me to like unzip my fly and like unbutt my pants, just whip that big old ass <laughs> and just shake it around. Because all I'm gonna say is monkey see, monkey do, and I'll tell you what, <laughs> monkey did. <laughs> I mean that would have been a really nice thing to add to the show that night for yeah. me. I agree. Yeah, it's we're a different entity now, I think. So do you have that guy? You have that guy on your your phone? Maybe we could call him up, the Potsy guy. Um, you know, I I could probably <laughs> get Will's number. I know, I know a couple people that have Will's number. I, <laughs> It'll be I good to talk to that guy. Number. But we're we're in the middle now. I just I would just like to say this: you can't you can only drop the mic once. I agree. You can't, you can't drop it twice. You drop the mic, the show's over. You drop the mic. That's the idea with the dropping the mic. Yeah. Is you drop after, it once? You can't drop it after. Can, every can song. you can you place the mic? You can't. No, you have to either. Either it's in your hand, or the sh if you drop it, the show's over. Right. right. Agreed. But if you drop it and it's the middle of the song and you have to go pick it back up, what are we supposed to do now? Right. Leave. Well, here's a question for you. I saw some like really old like footage of the Who playing. Yeah. And uh, their vocalist was swinging around like he does all the time. But one time it hit the ground and like it was just on the ground. And I mean, is that the same as dropping? No, the mic? that's not the same. Because I, he, his, his potsies were purposeful drops. Right. Uh, to yeah. punctuate, yeah. you know, what like, was right. happening. You basically might as well be saying, yeah! <laughs> oh, um, and then this next one is called. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, the who can do what they want because of the who. You know? Yeah, this is basic yeah. stuff. You got right. a point there. Right. Anyway, they did their best. Potsy, everybody. Come on, Potsy. Yeah, come, come on, on. Give let's it get serve for Potsy. All right, guys. Yeah. Just, just drop the mic once and that's it. Right. Also, any of you guys drop the mic, I'm going home. That's yeah. what I'm going to do from now on. <laughs> yeah, I know. Stacy might drop that mic yeah. right now. Yeah, if you drop that mic, we're leaving. That's yeah. a sad mic. That's the way it goes. It's a, sad it's, mic. It's a flaccid, flaccid mic. mic. By the way, that, that guy, the Potsy guy is the same Manowar tattoo as you, too. That's I was right. psyched. That's right. You know, we saw the guy. That. That's right. 
He does. Yeah. And yep. well, wow, these guys are going to be awesome. And it's going to be like Manuel, and then yeah. they were like five kinds of music into one. <laughs> so like a garbage disposal of music. No. We're going to hug. <laughs> Hug. Hug it out. <laughs> we got, we got, it was, worth, it, out, it was worth it because we got a lot of conversational mileage. Oh, fantastic. It was that. fantastic is right. Um, <laughs> so we have to thank Heavy Necker for that yeah. and maybe hug them a little bit when they, when they totally, leave tonight. Yeah. Actually, one of the best parts of that show is I didn't have to go back to the space and unload equipment. That's I, right. I got to go right home. Like a real star. <laughs> Can I tell you something? That was a pretty good club, besides the fact that it's in wherever Beverly and I, I agree. I thought it was a pretty nice place. Yeah, yeah. I had a good time. Yeah. It was I fun. agree. And they had good beer. And, uh, yeah. Good times. Two bucks. Bro. And hugs. You can't really beat that. Yep. Yeah. They got like neon on the stage now, too. It's pretty dope. Oh, right, yeah. Book another gig. We'll go. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go again. <laughs> you don't want to go to Beverly again? I don't think so. Oh. I got that nice mug on the way out, and I think I'm done. <laughs> Is it because the bat? Is it because the bathroom is right next to the stage? I can't, you know. Yeah, that's rough. Yeah. Bathroom's on the other side of the room as the stage. No, it's it's right. The stage. Oh yeah, that's right. It's on the other oh, side. Oh, it's on right the other side. It's okay. Still, whoa, still too close for comfort. It's on the side of the bar. You're that's right. why I just go to the bathroom on the stage. <laughs> yes. Tours. Works. All right, it's time, uh, Mike. It's time for a message from our sponsor. What's oh, l- let me let me just tell you a little something. Please do. Don't be a proto goon. Get your proto metal at Ripple. Ripple-music.com. Thanks, buddy. Uh, Heavy Necker formed, I don't know, five or so years ago? Uh, 2011. Thank you. First, they sounded like Motorhead, right? A little bit. (laughs) Now they got a boogie rock thing happening. And they're one of the hardest working uh, bands in town. And uh, and they have they put on one of the best shows. Oh boy! And they are big with the transsexual crowd. At least Chris is. I don't know about the other guys. <laughs> <laughs> one time, Ken. Keith, how do you do with the transsexuals? I do pretty good. Okay, Mike. Uh, Not so good. Yeah, anymore. they were more into those two. <laughs> really? Like, kind of off the side. No, I don't. That yeah. guy told us his face sits three.